and welcome back to another haunted adventure but this is not your ordinary haunted adventure guys we are at one of the most haunted places in the i can't entire believe world. this guy is outside Definitely my house again one my one goodness another, guys. Hey everybody, it's The Shape, back to another video. You know, I was thinking just the other day, what is an influencer? It would be a person that obviously has influence over any, any group of people. Not necessarily online either, for that matter. I mean, Charles Manson was a form of influencer over his uh, Manson family. Now, the reason I bring that up, I was thinking a YouTuber's kind of like a pastor or a preacher that has, you know, a congregation of people that come there and listen to this person preach God's word. But instead, they make videos. Now, the reason they're the same is they entertain and influence you through their speaking and what they show you and what they talk about. And I was thinking, well, what if a preacher or pastor or whatever is at your church if you go? What if he got up there and said, I don't believe in God. I know I've been preaching for years, but I don't really believe in God, but I would love to continue to keep preaching. Now, if you go to church, how many of you guys will be like, okay, I mean, you are entertaining. We'll keep you. What is up, fam? No, I think you guys will go, well, if you can't practice what you preach, we don't want you here. I think that, you know, you don't believe in God. Why are you pretending and speaking about it and faking like you do, you know? I don't know. It just, maybe I'm yapping. But when YouTubers run around all these locations pretending all these haunted things are happening to them and they're not saying otherwise. Yeah, they're not saying, oh, this is real 100% in every video, but they're not not saying it. And, well, obviously, like Omar and the fam, they're the worst. They were, they were one of the first YouTubers I ever called out for fakery. Omar, well, everybody knows who he is. The fam, he's kind of like uh, Robin to Omar's Batman. No, more like Commissioner Gordon to Omar's Batman. But anyway, this video is on the fam, and it really stood out to me, so I had to make a video about it. With my buddy Lou Rock, I'm gonna put the links to those two videos. Some crazy stuff happened like this. Well, the fam is at the Lizzie Borden house, and you know all about that house. Uh, now, real quick, I just wanna say, like, obviously, when I showed you that clip, and he was like, uh, and this is what happened last time we was here, and he threw his arms up, you know, because he's gonna show you old footage of him being here, which I think I debunked in the past. But yeah, and the reason I mentioned that is Omar's editing skills and everything is pretty on par with what a YouTuber should be. Nothing exceptional, but not too bad. The fam, on the other hand, he's just like the king of Omar's fan club. That's it. Now, it's just my opinion that nobody on the planet would know who he is had he not been in Omar's videos. Now, that's just speculation on my part, but I believe it to be true. And his editing skills are horrible. And the sounds in his videos, one clip, it'll be sound pretty good. Next clip, it'll be too low. And then uh, he can't keep stuff in focus. I just, I just don't understand it. It's kind of hot in here. Dude, are you loud? Now, obviously, this is an older clip, but I wanted 
real quick, being as they're there now and we have different angles we can work with, I want to show you that angle because the door in the room where he's laying on the bed there, you know, the door that's dead center of frame, just by sheer happenstance. Oh, and you can't see Lou Rock in the floor, by the way, but he's below the camera. But I want to show you exactly what they did. Then I'll let you see it. Being as Lou Rock was right here, they could have run fishing line under the bed from right here all the way across under the bed. And this is a very good camera angle. And then the fishing line could be attached to the bottom of the door right here. And Lou Rock could have simply pulled the door open. As you can see right here, remember he's in the floor. So, conveniently enough, Lou Rock is below the camera. You could tie a string, run it under the bed to where Lou Rock is, and have him pull the string and the door open and you never know the difference. The reason I mentioned that is because the same applies to this next clip that him and Lou Rock caught when they were there the last time. Once again, fishing line that's run under the bed and pulled off camera. It's that easy. Same thing applies there. The picture, a line run down the wall under the bed. Somebody's right off camera pulling a string. It's kind of that easy, ladies and gentlemen. But, but, I got to give them credit. They did a half decent job there. Now, the reason you wouldn't see them in the reflection of the window is they're just out of line of sight of the window. I mean, it's <laughs> fairly obvious. We do know when the paranormal happens, one or the other guy is always missing. All right, fam, we have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. All right, fam, we have arrived. <laughs> Check out this old school toilet, by the way. This is how you, boom. We do not care. We stay in this room last time. And guys, this door right here, this door, like we went to go to sleep and immediately this door closed all by itself. Oh, is, is, is that what happened, fam? Cause, <laughs> you know, when I look back at the clip, <laughs> the door wasn't slamming, the door was opening. Let's take a look. When you fake paranormal, it's hard to keep track of all the fakeness, but the door is definitely opening. My buddy Lou was sleeping on the floor right here where Mrs. Borden was. <sighs> My boy Lou Rock was sleeping on the floor right here where Mrs. Borden was murdered. Yeah, that poof, it just closed really slowly. It freaked me out. You know what blows my mind is this crazy piece of evidence that you caught that time. You can't even rem remember what happened. The door didn't close. It, you made a sound effect. It went, and it slowly shut. No, it slowly opened. It's where you fake stuff, you just can't remember anything. And what is real shocking about it is you did take the time to go back and get the clips out of that video, and you still can't keep up with it. Great job, buddy. It's a way, you're, you're, you're amazing at what you do. Close the door. Let me show you what you've been waiting for. But here's some old pictures and some cool old relics from the house. Now that doll freaks me out. Oh my God, what is that creature staring at me right now? Now this is our room for tonight, guys. This is the master suite. What they call it, the master suite. We're gonna check out the master bedroom. The upstairs, the entire third floor, and the basement, guys. What am I looking at right there? Comment below if you know what that is. Because once you see it, you can't unsee it. Is that food or something? Oh no, fam. You better get out of there. You got a big demon cyst coming out below your lip there, pal. Ooh, it may even start growing eyes, a nose, a mouth. I was talking to the owner outside just a little bit ago and she was telling me about this couple that stayed here and basically what happened was the wife and the husband had experienced some really crazy things throughout the night 
Now, the only reason I left that in is because you cannot hear a word that man is saying. And I turned that up 200%. And that's what you hear. I told you, man, uh, filmmaking and documentaries aren't for this man. I mean, you can't expect too much from somebody that actually left Omar's legs in the video. But, I mean... This is the attic. This is the third floor. There is three rooms up here. No, I can't say I know the name of the rooms. They're not as historical as the rooms downstairs. It is newer because this was an attic, so they built this on afterwards. But don't think it's any less haunted. I get a really weird vibe from this room, actually. Oh, he walks around that room with the rocking chair, and he's like, Ooh, man, I got a bad feeling about this, people. And I, you know what this is called, though, right? Well, class is in session. For you new subscribers, this is called foreshadowing. Right? They have a bad feeling in that room because later in the video, said paranormal activity will happen in that room. Pay attention to the layout of that room too. Got some creepy dolls over here. And there's actually a room that has a ton more dolls. What does that say? Oh, it's about the room. See the curtain move. Because I never caught it. Some A fam caught it and told me about it. Most people never caught that either. This is what really upsets me. Yeah, it, it upsets me because, oh, we didn't see it in the video. Uh, you know, something flew on the camera, but we didn't see it. Yeah, when we went back to edit and cut the video, we left it in there, but we never saw it. It was one of you fans, you know, kind of like Fine Waldo. Hey, go down in the comments section and comment something that we may overlook, even though we leave it in editing. Cause comments push the algorithm. But that, there's no way the wind was blowing there. This room. Now those are the toys right there. What the hell was that? Did you guys hear that? All right, guys. It's about to get real. This man is about to catch one of the holy grails of ghost hunting. Oh. What the hell was that? room I told you that sounded creepy bro this room is freaking weird bro I completely heard something in here whoa oh, oh look 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 stop aiming the camera at your face why would you turn the camera to your face when a chair is rocking why would you do that that's my first question you would keep it on that chair. You're literally getting the holy grail of paranormal activity there, pal. Now, I'm sure, now that you see it rocking and you haven't run yet, you're not too scared, so you're going to go in that room and show nobody's in there, right? What the hell? Dude, I just would. I just moved. It just moved. What the hell? Quit saying, what the hell, buddy. It's cringe. What the hell? What is that, fam? What the hell? Stop. Stop doing that. Now, walk in the room and point the camera in that little cubby hole right beside the rocking chair, please. <gasps> it's moving again. Okay, I'm freaked out. 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 I don't like that stuff. I know you guys think I do this all the time and I might like this kind of stuff, but that kind of stuff really freaks me out, okay? So you're not going to go in the room and film to show nobody's in there, right? You're just going to walk right down the stairs. Oh, I'm out of here. I'm scared. Ooh, ooh. look, I, I, I'm trembling. I'm shaking. See, guys, this, this is the stuff that really cringes me out. But let me give you a little blueprint of what I do think happened. You can go back and watch the clip as he's looking around the room while the rocking chair is rocking. But here's the blueprint of what I think happens from the top down. Now in that room, Omar could run a string from the other side of the bed as the fam comes in, but I don't think he did, but it is a possibility. I mean, but more than likely, if you look over to the top right hand corner at that little nook over there, I would say more than likely, he could easily run a string from that corner right there over to the rocking chair, and it would be much simpler and a lot easier to hide the string because you're in that dark shadowy area 
looking at it from this point of view omar could be right there but i don't think he is um i'm 99.9 percent .9 sure he would be over in that little cranny right behind the rocking chair you see that right there i would say he's hiding right over there what do you think what was that omar's down in the basement right now omar's in the basement you heard him so obviously that wasn't omar upstairs rocking that rocking chair Now, I don't have much to add here, <laughs> except for the fact you hear him playing that music that like builds, you know, that scary music that amplifies and builds. I turned that up 200%. In fact, this next clip I turned up 200%. But listen to his music that's building up. It's so horribly edited, and I don't understand what he was even thinking. He must have thought, oh, this is going to rock with this background music. Oh, now, does he head back upstairs to see what rocked that chair? Nope. I can tell you exactly where he went. Okay, I gotta go find no more. Alright guys, I'm coming outside for a couple minutes. Uh, I would really suggest if you guys ever get a chance to come to the Lizzie Borden house, definitely do it. It would not surprise me if they didn't let Fam and Omar stay there just to promote this Lizzie Borden place. Hey, you shout us out in a video, you can stay all night for free. And in the morning, we get Johnny Cakes. That's right, Johnny Cakes are back. Do you guys remember Johnny Cakes? Did I tell you about Johnny Cakes last time? We do not care. All right, guys, we're going to go in the basement right now. You haven't been in there yet? No. Oh. I'm so sorry. What was that? Omar just said no. He hasn't been to the basement yet. Earlier in the video, though, you said this. Omar's down in the basement right now. See what I'm saying? Uh, these two ignoraniuses can't even keep a cohesive story. No, I wasn't down in the basement. Omar was down in the basement. So, if Omar was not down in the basement when the rocking chair was rocking, huh. Okay, so here's what we do know, though. You come down to the, first, the ground floor, right? When the rocking chair incident happened. Omar wasn't on the ground floor. You even went outside. Omar wasn't outside. You come back in, and Omar said he hasn't been in the basement yet. Okay, so where was Omar? That only leaves one floor, and that's upstairs. Did you, did you play with the Ouija board, didn't you? Um, I'm not answering that question. Did you play with the Ouija board? Um, but wait, I didn't put it in my video because I felt bad. I didn't tell you guys that. I don't like Ouija boards, no. I felt bad about it. That's why I never used it. No, I'm not boxes, okay? Boards. Yeah, yeah, I don't like them. No. You can sign demons. I mean, you can, you can get demons coming through spare boxes, but it's very rare. Now, right through here, I got lost but I, because I literally, I had earpieces in and I can't hear a word that these men are saying. Granted, yes, there's poor audio there, but hey, at least you get to hear him breathe in the microphone because his face is stuffed up to it, apparently. Oh, well, shape. That's because he doesn't have 2020 vision like yourself. I still don't understand that. But he he, he needs to buy a filter or a, a muff or something <laughs> to to put over the I don't know to put over the speaker or something to keep that breath out of it. And now they head to the scary, scary basement. The most haunted place of all. Prepare yourself. Ladies and gentlemen. Dude, there's like freaking hatchets everywhere. Really? Yeah. There's one there. Boy, I didn't see like, that. Like yeah, like big ones. Well, thank goodness you showed us that ain't a real axe because it could have fooled us. Probably could have fooled a lot of your viewers anyway. Oh! Yeah, they are, actually. I don't have to worry about bumping my head in here. High ceilings. I don't have to worry about bumping my head. <laughs> and the reason I mentioned that, that's a little bit of slight foreshadowing all in itself. Alright guys, so over here is a very, very creepy area. 
as we were looking at this, if you can look really carefully, you will see a face right there. Oh yes, pareidolia. I can see the face coming in right now. There it comes. Oh my goodness, I can see it. Ooh, ooh. It's like a big bowl they use to wash their clothes and different things. Say what? That was a wash bowl? Hey, I thought it was something else. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Guys, if you've seen my last video here, one of those chairs actually moved and it scared the living crap out of me. Subscribe to the shape. <laughs> Subscribe to the shape. <laughs> Over there it was crazy. Whoa. Wait a minute. That was not just leaking a second ago. I was just in here. What? Do you hear that? I don't hear it anymore, but I did hear it. What the hell? It just stopped. Bro, what the hell? In this video, you said there are other people staying in the Lizzie Borden house. You act like when somebody goes to bed, you'll never hear from them again till the next day. That's what you guys think. You hear a sound up above your head. You're like, well, everybody's asleep. Everybody. You, people get up. You know that, right? People get up for midnight snacks. People get up to use the bathroom. I don't know. Okay, we're right here. Look in there. Tell me if you see anything. Look straight ahead. What the hell? <gasps> Dude, it's not like somebody's walking up there. Everyone's sleeping. Everybody's sleeping. There's no way somebody would dare get out of bed. Bro, that's the kitchen area, or the hallway, or the family room. Keep going, you'll you'll get it right eventually. <laughs> what the hell? Are you guys hearing these noises? Keep your eyes open here, guys, and definitely keep your ears open. What? Did you no. Keep your eyes open here, guys, and definitely keep your ears open. Sound overlay, ladies and gentlemen. Fake EVPs. You gotta love them. Now, oddly enough, all the ones in this particular video sound like the fam, too. I mean, a lot of people that I know, I mean, I have a lot of friends that are grinders. I mean, me, myself, I work hard. My friend James, my friend Mo, I mean, we're hard workers. And during the 1800s. I mean, we, we've had hard workers. Omar, don't ever compare yourself to people that worked back in the 1800s, pal, because you ain't near the grinder they were. I'm not near the grinder they were. So don't think for one second that you getting on a computer editing and walking around faking paranormal is anything like how it used to be. Oh, coming up, they catch this amazing knocking sound. And oddly enough, you can tell that it's not coming from upstairs. It's coming from right above the fan's head. Take a look. Like throughout history, Mr. Andrew Borden was one of those hard work. What the hell? Don't you hear that? So many things wrong with this clip, too. Not only can you see the camera that he's holding his phone move when he's up there hitting, you can see it move as he's knocking. But I want you to watch where Omar's eyeballs go. Mr. Andrew Borden was one of those hard work. What the hell? Did you hear that? Omar literally saw the fam knock on the seal and look, he looks right above his head like, what are you doing? And then he's like, oh, well, I better play along. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Wow. So creepy in here, guys. So I am in the family room right now. This is where Andrew Borden was murdered right here on this couch right behind me. We can't hear you. He was laying this way with his head over here. And she must have, or whoever, murdered because she was acquitted. Got him right here. Poof, right when he was sleeping. I don't know, guys. Gives me the heebie jeebies. Ah! Freaks me out, too, to be honest with you. 
I signed this guest book before, so if you guys come here, make sure you sign the guest book. Well, maybe just the dislike I have for the fam is unwarranted, but just this clip alone of him telling people to sign the guest book, it just irritates me. They know, everybody knows to sign the guest book. You don't have to, hey, when you come here, make sure you sign the guest book because, hey, I'll rat on you. There's also different stories in here, which is really neat if you ever get a chance to read this. Oh, what was that? Could swear or something. You guys want to hear it again? Because that is the fam's voice. You can 100% tell by listening. It sounds... <laughs> It's identical to him. You know what? Let's roll it over and over. What the hell? Did you guys hear that? Yes, we heard it. Why do you keep asking that every time you hear a sound? You know we hear it. A lot of times they hear it and you don't even hear it. Or you say you don't hear it. Like there was screams That's the pictures from the actual scrolls, guys. <laughs> I to go back up here after I seen that damn rock hit here. If it's moving again. What rock? Right. You should record this right there. That one right there. Ooh, I almost thought I just seen it move again. Well, I got 2020 vision, and I couldn't have seen that. So I, I don't understand how people are saying, oh, he's, he's blind in one eye, and uh, he can't see out the other one either. Did you turn the lights off up here? No. When I left here, the lights were on. Well, then somebody turned the light out. Maybe had you left a static camera on, maybe you would have caught that. He's up here now. This is what makes this story so... I know some people don't like the EVPs. I'm not the biggest fan myself, but if you want to skip the EVPs, go to this timestamp and you can go check out the rest of this video. The one good thing you did in the video, and I will gladly skip. Guys, Omar just ending his video right now because we're going to do a part two, but like I swore I just seen something like move out here. Bro, I don't know, dude. Like I'm telling you, I heard we are we heard like this noise. And I look up and I swore I seen something move out here and I don't see very well. You know what? I could have sworn from the corner of my eye too. I seen like a shadow. Seriously. <sighs> Guys, we're getting ready to go to bed because we are super tired and we figured this has been a long enough video. We are going to record ourselves sleeping, both me and my boy Omar right here. So make sure you go check out this video. I'm making a video, he made a completely different video. And the secret word is pumpkin. For the whole month of, you know, Halloween's coming and, uh, gonna be some bangers, baby. Now, I may have, in this video, come across a little overly sarcastic and stuff like that. It's not my intentions, but these guys just, they drive me batty uh, when I watch their videos. I just... There, it cringes me to a point. It, well, obviously I just showed you. <laughs> I mean, anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you. And bangers on the way, as always. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Y'all come back now, you hear? Peace.